To survive war, you gotta become war. audience I'm Boomstick and today we're gonna to be talking about the why though why bo that is y t h o w y e b o w got that all right the why though why bo is a 3d printed rear primed bow powered blaster with a y hopper so when I say bow powered I mean literally bow powered the bow arms right here are what give it its power when you pull back, it flexes the bow arms, giving the power pushing the plunger back forward. It holds 10 darts that are fit through the top here. And it also can fire Mega XL from the front barrel here. You also have a neat little piece of radio if you really want to add optics or what I'm considering some Mega XL storage right here. Now they're also in the latest version, I believe, adding another rail on the other side, I believe, uh, but that's in the newest version that they're putting out. Another nice feature about the Y though Ybo is it is collapsible. It is a lot easier to travel with as opposed to having these giant arms on them. Now the hardware for the Y though Ybo is available from Artificial Armory's website for $40. And you can get pre-built Why the White Bows from Foam Demic for $80. This is, of course, not including shipping. So definitely check them out. Links down below in the description, as always. Printing it was very simple. It's like 10 pieces, most of it being just this one big handle. Now, I will say, print this solid. I ended up turning my Why the White Bow into a skewer because the ram right here with the bar that I'm looking at... <laughs> When I let go, it actually punched through my plunger, turning my Wido Wido into a skewer. Also, I actually ended up coming with a neat nickname for this one. I call this one the Wasp because I ran out of yellow filament partway through and switched over to black, hence the yellow, black, white aesthetic. The only reason I have orange pieces is because they were added later. Speaking of pieces that were added later, you obviously know why the plunger was replaced, but this top piece for the hopper is actually slug's design that twists open and close, that way you can throw darts in. The original design is a simple ring and cap, and I had issues with this popping off while I was firing it, so I do recommend getting a different uh, hopper top as opposed to the one that it's designed to go with. Assembling the blaster is extremely straightforward. It's no instructions really required for putting this one together it's all it all just kind of makes sense there's slots for everything that you need and yeah it just makes sense that it goes together now assembling it is easy fine tuning it is another matter because it is a y hopper those tend to be a little bit more on the finicky side i spent a good amount of mine trying to adjust things to get it performed properly and i think i've got it pretty well tuned now uh, but keep that in mind that you'll probably be messing around with the tuning if you're building it yourself it's very comfortable. This 3D printed grip forms nicely to my hand. Very comfortable to fire with in battle. I had no comfort problems while using it. The rear prime also has these nice loops that lend themselves well to fitting with your fingers. So yeah, very, very comfortable blaster. But that's enough of trying to keep this thing in frame. Let's go, go take it outside to the range and uh, let's take it to a few battles. Firing fresh AF Pro darts, I'm getting 100 feet, hitting right around 200 FPS, which is pretty good. I decided to test the 50 cal foam balls from Monkey Mods, and I'm so glad I did. I was getting a cloud of balls that would go right around 50 feet. I definitely need a place where I can use these so I can have a shotgun bow. 
Taking the bow onto the field was lots of fun, but it did take getting used to. But, once you've got the hang of it, it's actually quite competitive. It's a larger target, which makes hiding behind cover a little bit more difficult, but if you can move around, you can actually rapid fire out some shots fairly quickly for something like this. I will. And you get Justice out there. Watch out for Justice. He's still right there. Whoa. <laughs> yes! All right! Now for my final thoughts on the blaster. I do think this is an extremely fun blaster, and it is definitely worth picking up if you're interested in having a bow. Obviously, the big pros are the FPS. It's getting a nice 200 FPS and being able to top load as you go. Not having to change out a mag where you have nothing left or realizing it, you can just throw more darts in as you go along, which is a very nice feature. Now, obviously, one of the bigger cons is the fact that it is big. While it's not heavy, it is bulky, and it does make it a little bit harder to move around with. So keep that in mind if you don't really want something this big weighing you down. Or not weighing you down, but... Just kind of just getting in your way overall. Ducking behind small cover with this is not easy. And obviously since there's no stored energy, you do have to hold that pose until you're ready to fire. If you don't think this is your style, maybe skip this one. But it is a very good blaster that is a lot of fun to use. It's just kind of what I would consider more of a niche style blaster. So, But of course, taking the pros and the cons together, all you have to do is ask yourself one thing. You want to feel like Rambo? Thank you all for watching and special thank you to all my lovely patrons out there. And if you'd like to support the channel or any of the hobbyists featured in this video, definitely check out the links in the description below. Don't forget, patrons of the $5 or above level get custom stickers from yours truly. But if you don't feel like supporting the channel in that way, go ahead and leave a comment letting me know your thoughts. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to see what we're going to do next. Thank you again for watching. I've been Boomstick, and I'm out.